Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I'm here with a very interesting problem. As you can see it is the work done in lifting a superconducting ring and it is an original problem. It is framed by me. So let's uh, discuss this very interesting problem here. So this is the statement of uh, this problem. A superconducting thin ring of radius R and having self inductance as L is placed in XZ plane with its center at origin initially ring is having current of i naught with its area vector pointing in positive y axis as shown there exists a uniform magnetic field b naught also pointing in positive y axis now an agent is lifting this ring and brings it to a position where area vector of the ring has direction cosines as cos a cos b and cos c you can read it as cos alpha cos beta cos gamma also now question is what is the work performed by the agent in the process neglect the effect of the gravity this is the diagram involved so there is a superconducting ring and its area vector is pointing initially in y direction and finally it is pointing in some other direction where uh, direction cosines are uh, mentioned so we know the orientation of the ring and uh, this expression also we have to use that is uh, pi r square b naught 1 minus cos beta by the inductance l i can treat it as current i naught all right so let's uh, uh, discuss this problem the so concept part first so in a superconducting ring so here uh, first point you can see flux conservation through a superconducting ring flux conservation through a superconducting ring all right so since it is a superconducting ring we can say its resistance is going to be zero its resistance is going to be zero so i can say directly from here that induced in the ring is going to be i times uh, resistance of it since resistance is zero therefore i can say e induced also is zero and induced is the d by dt of flux so if d by dt of flux is zero I can say flux is going to be constant through a through a superconducting ring. This is the concept number one. This we are going to use that uh, superconducting ring will conserve the flux. Now second is energy of the system. Uh, the energy in this case will be the energy due to its own current that is self. Uh, that's why self inductance is also given. So potential energy due to its own field plus potential energy of this ring with its interaction with the magnetic field so here i can write this total energy i can write it as half l i square uh, minus mu dot b this is the interaction energy where mu is the dipole moment of uh, the ring and here general energy equation i can write initial energy plus work done by agent this is going to be the available energy and finally this is the energy present in the system we are assuming there is no heat losses all right so let's start here we are going to calculate the flux first so initial flux i can write it as a self flux plus flux due to the magnetic field here so since both are in the same direction uh, so L I naught plus B naught pi R square. This is going to be the initial flux value. And finally, when I'm uh, writing, when ring is uh, having direction cosines or area vector is having direction cosines of cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma or cos A, cos B, cos C. So I can write this area vector as magnitude times the unit vector in the direction of area vector. So if direction cosines are given, I can write the unit vector as cos A, cos B, cos C, right? So this will become area vector A as pi R square cos A I cap plus cos B J cap plus cos C K cap. So now finally this flux is going to be the current in the ring is changing. We don't know how much is this new current. So I'll be writing it as Li plus vector B dot A. So we know vector B is B naught J cap and area vector also is known to us. So if I take dot product, I am going to get B naught pi R square cos B. So this is going to be the final flux for uh, the situation. And if I conserve the flux, if I conserve the flux, then I'm going to get uh, Li naught plus B pi R square is equal to Li plus B 
pi r square cos p so if i simplify i'll get the new current here so this new current value is uh, known to me and if you remember uh, we have to use b naught pi r square 1 minus cos beta is equal to l which is uh, given in the question here that we can use uh, this value as i naught itself so as you can see here this current actually becomes 2i naught so current in the ring has increased due to lifting so now energy equations when we are writing energy equation we can write self potential energy initially plus interaction energy with the magnetic field which is minus mu dot b this has to be minus mu dot b this is going to be minus mu dot b all right so now let's check here so self potential energy of the inductor or uh, the ring will become half l i not square and this is going to be minus direction of mu and b is same so dipole moment vector will become i times area so i not times pi capital r square times uh, b not this is the initial energy finally we can say mu vector is going to be pointing in the direction of area vector so it is its magnitude is i times pi r square and its direction is cos a i cap plus cos b j cap plus cos c k cap and this uh, vector b is b not j cap so i can find out this uh, interaction energy with the magnetic field that is going to be minus mu dot b if i substitute the value i am going to get minus i pi r square b not cos beta so if i substitute uh, this value in the final energy expression which is half li square this by the way this i is known to me minus i times pi r square b not cos beta if i simplify this i can now use uh, the expression of uh, b not pi r square 1 minus cos b by l as uh, i not when i simplify this i becomes 2i not you can see from here i becomes 2i not as i mentioned earlier so here if we some sim uh, simplify this we are going to get final energy as 2l i not square 1 minus 2 cos p by 1 minus cos p after that uh, this initial also i can substitute in terms of i not using substituting this value uh, from the above equation pi r square b not value i am going to substitute from here as you can see pi b not r square value is going to be l i not by 1 minus cos beta so when i do that i am going to get this uh, expression here i am substituting on simplifying i am going to get this e initial as minus half l i square uh, times 1 plus cos beta divided by 1 minus cos beta so once i have initial energy final energy i can use i can use this w agent is equal to e final minus e initial so on substituting uh, the values and when i am simplifying this when i am simplifying this so i am going to get uh, final answer as w agent as half l i not square times 5 minus 7 cos b divided by 1 minus cos b and uh, this is the final answer for it here you might have this uh, doubt sir what will happen if cos b is 1 so if cos b is 1 you can see here in that case nothing is going to happen to this that's the uh, reason this w agent is not defined when 1 uh, minus cos b is 0 uh, the reason being because if you see the value of uh, the expression which is given here all right which is given here if 1 minus cos p is 0 this i not will become 0 that means we are dealing with the domain where 1 minus cos b cannot be 0 and if it is um, not 0 definitely our expression of w agent is meaningful there is no problem with this at all all right so i hope it is uh, clear to you i hope it was uh, a completely new insight uh, for you guys also so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like share it with your friends and other teachers and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be bringing more such amazing problems in the upcoming videos and i'll try to bring as many original problems thank you thank you very much